Because I mean, uh, when we uh, when we attempted to pass our homestead exemption, we did it on a per dollar amount basis, and my understanding is that is impermissible by the county. So we're going to do a do-over, and we're doing it in a special meeting because we wanted it to happen before uh, July 1st, um, so that we could lock in the uh, increased uh, homestead exemptions for over 65 different veterans. Um, and then we're gonna discuss the tax rate today too, we can't take any action on that, but we'll take action on the homestead exemption. Um, anyway, that's why we're here tonight. So let's get down to business. First of all, we need to do citizens communications. Is there anyone signed up to speak this evening? Concerning exemption of residents on the from taxation. So, uh, as I stated, what we did when we lowered the overall, or when we set the homestead exemption, we did it in a way that was impermissible. We did it um, on a dollar amount. We are allowed to do it on a percentage basis. Uh, in a way, to, to me, that kind of defeats the purpose of doing it. But. We're gonna we're gonna try and do over a little bit of what we did in the previous meeting. I think the first thing we're gonna need to do, and I'll entertain motions from the floor, we need to uh, rescind what we did at the last meeting as far as our uh, homestead exemption decreases, uh, all of them that we did for uh, veterans over 65 and for all all property owners uh, who declare homestead, and then uh, I'll entertain motions to. Uh, if there are need to reduce on a percentage basis the, the tax rate or the uh, homestead exemption. Uh, and I would like to redo the uh, homestead exemption for veterans in over 65, which we can do in a dollar amount and hopefully do it again for the same amount we tried to do last time. So do I have a motion to rescind the uh, homestead exemption passed at the, the last meeting? <laughs> Motion from Director Smith. Second. Second by Director Stemko. Uh, any further discussion? The, the further discussion for me is we're doing this because what part of what we did was impermissible. So we're going to do over at least part of it. And then we'll talk about whether we want to continue on the homestead exemption for uh, all residents on a percentage basis instead of a dollar amount basis. Uh, and also the we anticipate doing with the tax rate in August, which we're not going to, uh, we're not going to take action on that. Um, any other further discussion? Just point of order that I believe um, disabled uh, Americans are also included in that. So it's not just over 65 veterans. It's two different exemptions. What you passed on June 8th was to raise the amount Mr. President, first off, uh, there is no um, the recommend. The first recommendation is to keep the keep the resolution. Can't say it like that. To increase the 65 and older and disabled veterans to twenty five thousand dollars for each. 
That's our first recommendation because we can do that. So that, that particular that particular part of the resolution, resolution doesn't, from my understanding though, it doesn't have to be a percent. So the IA is a flat rate. So it takes the that's right. It's the, okay. it's, the, it's, the dollar basis, dollar. it's the homestead exemption that has to be a percent. So um, so I want to point out a couple of things. First off, Burn Love Mud has the lowest tax rate of 54 muds in the area at 0.279 per $100 assessed value. Last year, we were able to lower the tax rate from 0.4 to 0.279 since our debt was paid off and, and we had a 30% decrease. Next, only two of the 54 homes, two of the 54 muds in this, in Williamson County, offer a homestead exemption and their tax rates are at 0.76 and 0.37 respectively. Only seven of the 54 offer 65 and over or disabled veterans. We currently have an over 65 and disabled exemption of $15,000 each, which my recommendation is to raise that to $25,000 each, which we'll look at in just a minute. Um, like the previous resolution said, to raise both the 65 and over and the disabled vets $25,000. Now, after looking at some hard numbers over the past couple of weeks, uh, after we learned that what the resolution was in Bellin, one of the things that we did is we looked at 2021, 2020, 2021, the average home value was $391,000. The tax rate at 0.279 made the taxable amount for that home $1,091. Now, the proposed rate for 21 and 22, the proposed average home value according to WCAG is $431,000. If we lower the tax rate to 0.25, that would actually lower each homeowner's each homeowner's tax amount to $1,078. So that would be a 10% reduction, about a 10% reduction in the tax rate, and it would actually lower the homeowner's tax bill by 1.23%. Now Looking at the scenario of doing a homestead exemption and possibly lowering the tax rate, if we had a homestead rate of 1.00%, lowering the tax rate to 0.26, that would make the tax bill for that same $431,000 home $1,108, which is an increase of 1.53%. If we did a homestead rate of 1.5%, that would make the tax bill 1104, still an increase over last year. And even at a homestead rate of 2%, that would still make their tax bill $1,098, which is still an increase from last year. So, long story short, looking at the hard numbers, the budget committee recommends that we do not do the tax, do the homestead, do the homestead exemption this year, but instead we lower the tax rate from 0.279 to 0.25. But like uh, Director Sabatino said, we can't vote on that tonight, but that is what's gonna be the budget committee's recommendation when we come back in August to set the tax rate. And so the budget committee recommends that we only increase the 65 and over and disabled vet. It's disabled. It's just it's disabled. disabled. 65 and over. I would have the same question. That's right. Okay. It's disabled. Here, different inter entities also have additional for disabled vet. In this situation, it's just the disabled That's what we wrote on last That's time. right. That's right. So we only, we recommend that we only increase the 65 and over, older and disabled to $25,000 per 
for each exemption, and then we are going to recommend lowering the tax rate in August of 2025. That is the budget committee's recommendation. Excellent. Um, one of the things I just want to highlight from what Director Barnes said, if we were to lower the tax rate to 25 cents per hundred dollar valuation, um, on the average, using the home, average home value of $431,000, uh, that still achieves a 1.23% tax, overall tax reduction in, in, in dollar amounts. That's pretty tough when we've got home values going through the roof uh, right now. So I think that's part of the reason why it's the, the budget committee's recommendation. I think that gives us, it gives the money what it needs, and lowers the burden on, uh, on homeowners. Uh, I think that's just a real, that, that's the best idea that we can, we can promote uh, for this budget cycle. Any other discussion, any questions? Uh, I wanna make sure I understand correctly. We, we can't do it by a dollar amount, we can only do it by a percentage. For all homesteads, that's for, correct. For, right. And the county has told us that's the county, county. Right, the county. So if we use the alternative alternative option of lowering the tax rate, we actually give more value to our residents? Than over a two uh, percent homestead redu reduction. That's right. Okay, it's so it's more money in their pocket if we do the, the yes. tax. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, another thing which uh, I, I, we failed to bring up so far, if, if we do the homestead exemption, we've always got to keep there. So if we were to pass a one percent or two percent homestead exemption, we've always got to keep. We could lower it, uh, or raise it, but we would have to have it. We always have to have it. So what we want to do instead is just go ahead and change the uh, the tax rate in August. Uh, that will give us more flexibility. If it, it, for all our calculations, that should be that should give us what we need going forward to meet the much needs, even with uh, inflation going on or suppliers uh, costs going up. Uh, we we should be okay at that at that level. And this was reviewed by Hilltop Securities, and that's this is where we're we're basing it on their. That's information. one of the that's one of the folks we have discussions. Okay. Just, just just for clarification, two percent is 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 that a cap that we provide? No, that was just the the numbers that. Okay. The so down the road, if we want to want to bring in a homestead at a higher rate, at a higher percentage, we could. We could. It's just that once you start a homestead exemption, you're stuck with it. You have to have it at some level. No, I understand that. You want to increase the value, you know, benefit to our, uh, our residents and keep the flexibility you know, for the future. Right. But essentially, what we've done is we've gone down one road and then we found a block. And now we're just doubling back and taking a different route to get to the same. Um, I don't know that we were thinking about reducing the tax rate this year, but since we can't do the uh, the homestead exemption, because that was kind of the way we were leaning, and now it's like, well, what can we do with the tax rate? And I think that's that's factored into the budget committee's recommendation. And I think one thing too that we want to also clarify too is that when we did, when we passed the resolution for the homestead exemption, we were trying to rush into it. We were trying to get into it to get to the July 1st deadline so that it can happen this year. We're not saying that we're never going to do a homestead exception. It's just that when we bring it back, next time we bring it up, we're not going to do it a month before the deadline. And we're going to do it with plenty of research. We're going to do it to make sure that it's written correctly. We're going to make sure that it's done so that it still gives all the residents a benefit and it doesn't it doesn't we're not just going to throw it out there just to do it Can I add something? Absolutely. 
in discussions for Hilltop. Um, we kind of talked about homestead exemptions with the Fords and the, and the you know, nays of them and kind of some of the complications. Many taxing entities do homesteads um, as a way to shift some of the tax burden to commercial properties over residential. Well, our district does not have any commercial. So it makes sense that we don't have a homestead exemption because we don't have commercial properties that perhaps need to pay a higher or more of the tax burden. And that's probably why out of 54 months, there are only two that do a homestead exemption. It's just, we in the firm of Mud have been able to get to that same destination by having this goal of lowering our tax rate every year as much as we possibly can. And we've been doing that pretty consistently. Um, for six years? For six years, I mean, we, we tried, we kept it the same back in the you know, uh, financial crisis at the end of 2009, 10, 11. But that's sort of been the goal. As in budget committee, that's what we talk about every year is that, you know, keep lowering that. And then last year when we were able to pay off our debt, there was quite a reduction. So I just wanted y'all to know that about the commercial um, properties and stuff. So at this time, uh, we'll entertain any uh, motions uh, regarding uh, over 65 and disabled home violations. I'd like to make the motion, um, as we said with the previous resolution, to raise over 65 and disabled exemptions to $25,000. Do second? Second. All right. Uh, <laughs> Director Barnes made the motion. Second by Director Smith. Any further discussion? Yeah, I think this puts us back right where we wanted to. You know, um, we presented the whole thing from the June 8th meeting. This is the part that we can do on a, on a dollar valuation uh, basis, another percentage. Um, this is what we, the budget committee wanted to originally, and uh, uh, thank the board for entertaining this, this motion. I think this is a benefit for those members of our community. That All right, all in favor? Motion carries 5-0. So the homestead exemption for over 65 and disabled is $25,000 a piece. Um, again. Um, let's clarify that it isn't a homestead exemption. It is an, um, I wanna make sure we have the wording correct. It will be the district hereby exempt from ad valorem taxation, 25,000 of the appraised value of residents, homesteads of individuals who are disabled or who are 65 years age or older. There you go. And that's the county's language. That's, yeah, that's, what, that's the legal language and I will forward this on to Williamson County. So basically the resolution, and y'all saw this last um, time, Section two will stay the same. Section three will be removed. Right. Y'all made that known for us. Right. Okay. Got it. All right. Okay. And then um, that's the main thing on the agenda. We've already got the next meeting date, July 13th. Uh, future agenda items. Budget committee is recommending that in the August meeting. Two meetings from now that we lower the tax rate to 25 cents per hundred dollar valuation. I see nothing to change that. I think that's going to be your recommendation. And that will also be the meeting that we have our proposed budget. Correct. Too, correct. Yeah, August. Correct. Well, that's right. August is the proposed budget, proposed tax rate, and everything's finalized in September. Right. Okay. But piece isn't done, but we're going to fit the budget so that it would fit within that. That's what we're here for.
here for. The time is 6.25 and this meeting is adjourned.